I had intended on posting this before the cold snap came in, but November is still fall, so I am still going to title this fall and winter outfits, um, but you know what I mean. It's a little bit colder now than I intended. When I style my clothes, I always find it easier to pair outfits in the winter and fall seasons just because I am an absolute lover of layering. I've always loved it. I grew up on Zoe 101, uh, Hannah Montana, and Selena Gomez in Wizards of Weaverly Place. The main thing they all had in common was layering tank tops over t-shirts and long sleeves and skirts over pants and just putting as much clothes as you could possibly put onto someone's body and trying to make it work. I don't think it always worked, but it did teach me a big lesson and that was layering with the intention of pairing textures and colors together. And from that day on, I just always loved the challenge of it. And I always want to be Alex Russo, let's just put that out there. So I've been having a lot of fun making outfits using only thrifted and handmade items that I have accumulated over the years and I find that I don't do it enough and I think the fear comes from judgment even though no one should be judging me walking down the street in something that I've made I know it's more more so in my head than anything but it's still there so I have to deal with it so I'm really excited to show you all the outfits that I've put together for this fall and winter season using only handmade and thrifted items aside from some like undergarments and socks and stuff but maybe i'll make some in the future so who knows so the first outfit that i decided to put together i wanted to start off with this gingham dress that i had previously made in my last video uh, this gingham dress is made out of blackbird fabrics soft wash linen and it is in the color nutmeg I added these sheared panels to the sides and they come in so handy for slipping on and taking off the dress. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I try to avoid zippers as much as I can. It's not that I can't do it, it's just that life is so much easier when you don't have to worry about a zipper breaking. So that's why I do it. I've been very lucky when finding shoes at the thrift store. These are my brown booties. These are from Cherokee, it's so durable and nice. So always look for nice quality leather goods when you're at the thrift store because usually they are in all right condition or they can be buffed and shined to a better condition. So with that base outfit, I then wanted to pair it with some handmade knits that I also have. The first one that I wanted to pair over top of the dress was this Dorotho Polo from Gregoria Fibers. And then the yarn is from Knit Picks Twill and it's in the color Twister. And the yarn is astounding. It does not pill, does not feel scratchy, and it is like the smoothest, butteriest feel out of all of my sweaters. It's amazing. I had a Pinterest image for what I wanted. It was a gingham skirt with a navy sweater on top. I think that it was such a nice combination that I needed to try it for myself. The next sweater that I wanted to pair was this stunning Delacour cardigan from Fable Knitwear in Knit Picks Stroll Tweed in the color Willie's Heather. So the neckline on this is very flattering. It's a square neckline and being able to button up or down is great for pairing with different outfits. It's such a staple cardigan and a true classic. And I think that it pairs really well with this outfit. The last sweater I wanted to pair was going to go underneath the dress. This is usually how I like to style dresses in the winter is putting a shirt underneath it. Pairing this dress with the Marilyn jumper from Fable Knitwear. Again, Knit Picks in their gloss yarn in the color Harvest. I don't grab the sweater often just because I think that the color is too warm for me, but it is my favorite tight fitting sweater I've made and the combination of pattern with the yarn quality really works well together. I didn't think this combination would be my favorite, but sometimes I'm surprised at how things all work out in the end. Okay, for outfit number two, I wanted to start off with this thrifted skirt that I had actually found the last time I was in the thrift store. And it is this wool skirt. Um, it used to be a little bit longer. I was able to hem it up to be a mini skirt. And with the skirt, I had found this collared shirt secondhand. And unfortunately, it was not my size but I was able to alter it and take it in to be my size. I added the Stockholm sweater from Petite Knit in Knit Picks Palette Yarn in the colorway Wheat Heather. I have a want for the future to make a dicky with a large collar like this that will look a lot nicer paired underneath sweaters and shirts like this. 
without all the added bulk of a full shirt. A classic sweater that makes me feel like Nancy Drew when I pair it with these knee socks. I would leave it here, but unfortunately the cold is upon us and I wanted some more warmth. So I switched out the socks for tights and I will have to learn how to darn soon because along with these tights, I have a few pairs of socks that could use some work. I made this linen set in the summer and I don't want to put it away yet. It's so comfy and nice. I used another linen from Blackbird Fabrics. This is the color Rum Raisin and it's just a striped washed linen. With this set, I wanted to pair a sweater with it because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do a baggy sweater on top of the pants. And for some reason, I was very drawn to using a turtleneck sweater to put underneath the linen top. This next knit is one of the few lacework projects I've done, and it was a lot of work to pay attention, but the result is amazing. The heirloom jumper from Fable Knitwear paired with Knit Picks Comfy Yarn in white. I'm not the biggest fan of this yarn because it tends to stretch a bit too much for my liking, but no doubt it is soft and smooth on the skin. For some reason I love this outfit. To me it's a quirky loungewear combined with that villain from Lazy Town. Um, and you know what? I'm not mad. I slid on these pair of loafers I had bought at the thrift store. I can't say they completely go with this outfit. I wanted to stick to my rule of only using thrifted and handmade items, so they work well under these circumstances. I was really surprised at how much I liked the turtleneck underneath the top from the linen set, so I wanted to pair it with another bottom just to see how it would look not in a matching set. And so I decided to go with this pair of blue jeans. I don't know who needs to hear this about Liz Claiborne, but it kind of slaps. I have a few secondhand pieces from this brand and they hold up so nicely. I think I've had these pants for five or six years now and they're still kicking. Also pairing it with this belt that I got from the thrift store again. I bought this maybe seven or eight years ago. It's a belt from The Gap, it's leather, and the wear on this is so nice. I have no complaints. I thought I'd pair this blazer that I had made a few years back. I bought some wool from the fabric store and I believe I followed a simplicity pattern. I really love the process of following that pattern and constructing it all together. It makes me want to make all of the coats and all of the outerwear. I dug it out the other day and now I want to throw it with every outfit that I can. I live in Canada, we celebrate our Thanksgiving in October, so although it is warmer than it would be in November, I still needed a very warm outfit to wear on this day in particular. I put this outfit together and it truly sparked my need to dress more with more of my handmade and thrifted items and not be scared to wear them outside of the house. I paired this thrifted gingham shirt with my navy mini dress that I had made a few months back, another video on the process of making this one as well. On top of it all, adding the holiday slipover from Petite Knit in Knit Picks, Wool of the Andes, in just white. I love getting to wear the slipover and I'm so happy that the cold weather is here. Pairing it with some tights, the lace socks, and then my brown boots. And because I can't help myself, I topped off outfit number five with this blazer again. I just think it works so well for all of my fall outfits. This last outfit was a little unsure for me. I started out with this green dress I made a few years back and has since sat in my I don't know what to do with you bucket for the longest time as I thought I hated this dress and after I made it, I discarded it to the scrap pile. It stays safe from being ripped apart by me trying it back on every now and then to remind myself that it wasn't always terrible. On top of this dress, I added the Sugar Plum Jumper from Fable Knitwear in Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Chestnut. I made this sweater almost three years ago and although I love the silhouette of it, the yarn like from my Maryland turtleneck, it always made me second guess as I think that it's too warm and won't look good on me. I thought I'd hate this outfit, I really did. I thought that I wouldn't add it to this video, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna end up in the top three. I love some whimsy, and there's something about the combination that makes me so happy. It's either the tiered skirt or the big boxy crop sweater, and I think it works well with bare legs or tights for added warmth. 
It's safe to say that this dress is coming out of the I don't know what to do with pile. I might want to make another one in the future, and maybe I'd make a pattern out of this and be able to share it with others. So let me know if you'd like that or want to see that. I've always had the vision of opening up an antique armoire and looking inside at all of the clothes that I own or that I wear and them all being handmade or thrifted. And for some reason, that visual goal has stayed true to me for as long as I can remember. And there's something so heartwarming about now being an adult and going into my dresser and looking through the stuff that I have on my coat rack and seeing all of the things that I've been able to make and just being one step closer to that full goal. It's a very slow process and it has taken me many years to kind of acquire skill, find items at the thrift store that are quality and good items. I think there's just something so great about being able to do that that makes me happy. So I'm going to continue doing that until I reach that goal. Also until I find a beautiful antique armoire to put all of my finds and makes in. And then I think that will be just like a big bucket list check off. I really hope that you enjoy watching me put together these outfits. And if you like my style, if you like to see some more things that I've made, I have a few videos out right now about some of the actual garments that I've made in this video, some of the dresses and the sweaters that I've kind of made throughout this last year. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment letting me know what outfit was your favorite and what one you would most likely wear for this fall and winter seasons ahead. Subscribe to see some more videos that I'll make in the future. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.